Contender Regime Boxing checking back in with y'all, man. What's good? So I just saw a video that was uploaded on Fight Hype with Devin Haney um, in training camp preparing for what everyone expects to be the Lomachenko fight. I believe they're still in negotiations from the information that I've received, Lomachenko still hasn't fully accepted all of the terms. I believe he's trying to make some adjustments to the offer or the contract to maybe maximize what he could get financially out of the fight. So hopefully Lomachenko actually, you know, comes to his senses and realizes that, bro, your time has come and gone. Devin Haney is the man now, so... You need to concede to whatever it is, bro. I respect what you did in your career, you know, for coming in the game at 26, 27. Of course, you know your amateur career was spectacular, one of the best. But as far as the pro, you did your thing, became unified champion, a multi-division champion, all that shit cool. But now Devin Haney is the man. He's the undisputed champion. And you want what he got. He accomplished what you wasn't able to accomplish. You dig what I'm saying? So you need to concede and take whatever it is that he offering you so we can get this fight done. You feel me? So hopefully that takes place. But Devin Haney was training in this video. And Bill Haney, his trainer, his father, his business partner, his manager, um, you know, was basically declaring domain and territory over the entire lightweight division. They made bold claims in this video. They said Devin Haney will be the only champion in 2023 at lightweight, at 135, he will be the only champion. They said that Devin Haney is not planning on leaving the 135-pound division this entire year. In 2024, we might think about moving up and relinquishing the titles and allowing you other people to have opportunities at these belts. But they said there will be no dropping of the belts in 2023. You feel what I'm saying? And if you want this shit, you're going to have to come take it. You feel me? So that's good news for boxing fans. That's good news for Shakur Stevenson. That's good news for Javante Tank Davis, depending on how these dudes react to it and depending on how they planning on moving this year. Well, we know Devin Haney, he's, you know, trying to lock down this fight with Lomachenko. Go ahead and get him up out of there again. That's not no easy fight. Even though Lomachenko took a couple of losses, he's still Vasil Lomachenko at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Incredible fighter. But, you know, Devin Haney got to go handle his business once that's done. Again, there could still be, of course, one more other fight in 2023. But I believe they could squeeze out two uh, and, and have a total of three fights this year with how active Devin Haney is, with how, um, how focused he is inside and out the ring, how he stays in shape year round, how he's always focusing on his craft. I believe he can get at least three fights this year. And like I said, that's good news for Shakur Stevenson, another pound for pound, incredible, uh, just wonderful talent in the sport um, who has openly said that he's willing to fight Devin Haney. He still hasn't had a fight at 135 yet. So um, I believe he's working. On, uh, he has a, a fight set up. Um, uh, I believe it's going to be in his hometown in Newark with a, a highly rated guy in a WBC. So that's dope. Uh, a lot of guys been ducking Shakur like Isak Cruz ducked him. Um, you know, a, a lot of guys been ducking Shakur. Steve. George Cambosis didn't want no smoke. Now, we know George Cambosis fresh off 2L. So, you go take you some time off, bro. You know, go heal up, man. Spend some of that money you made off fighting Devin Haney. You feel me? But a lot of guys been ducking Shakur Stevenson. So, you know, uh, he will get his opportunity if he wanted. They both dealing with top rank right now. Shakur Stevenson, that's good news for you because everybody assumed that Devin Haney was going to move up to 140 after this fight with Lomachenko simply because he's been at this division his whole career. And we obviously can see visibly that at the weigh-ins, you know, he don't look amazing. Devin Haney, he's making the weight, never failed, uh, never, um, you know, lost, uh, never uh, uh, missed weight. Never lost his title on the scales or nothing like that. But we see on the scales the way he look. He don't look amazing. 
You know what I'm saying? So people can see that shit. And people are like, man, you know, damn, um, we don't think Devin Haney going to be able to stay at this division for long. Even Devin Haney and his camp themselves has said, hey, uh, man, we, we looking to move up to 140 soon. We've been at this weight our whole career. But that's just a testament. The fact that they came out and made this claim and stamped they motherfucking territory in this division and said, we the only undis we the only male undisputed champion that's defending their title. We know that Jamel Charlo was about to defend his, but he had a hand injury. He's going to hold on to his belts and defend his shit too. But everybody else, they get the belts and they drop them motherfuckers and they move around. Devin Haney already defended his shit. Versus George Cambosis in a rematch. And he planning on doing it again this year. You know what I'm saying? That's a bold statement. And that's big facts. Like, bro, that's legacy shit. See, I, I guess I'm old school. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm into I'm into fighters prove it, wanting to prove that they the best. I'm into fighters wanting to only be the... the I'm, I'm, I'm into fighters wanting to be the only champion in their division. That way... Nobody else can claim that they're a champion. I like when fighters want to have that, that pressure on their back and want to have that target on them to where if you want to be a champion, you got to come see me. If Shakur Stevenson want to be a champion at 135, he got to fight Devin in 2023. If Tank Davis want to be a champion at 135, he got to fight Devin in 2023. Anybody that wants to be a champion in lightweight, which is one of the most popular divisions in the sport, you have to fight Devin Haney. There is no other champion at 135, bro. So the fact that even though they, we all know that he could really use those extra five pounds moving up in weight, but he's saying, hey, bro, now nah, we don't work too hard to get in this position. And these motherfuckers be maneuvering and, 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 and shucking and jiving and, you know, you know, uh, doing all type of little, you know, movements and shit to get out the way and avoid fights well if you want to be a champion we're gonna put that pressure on we're gonna see how bad you want to be a champion then so if tank davis really if he want that opportunity this is good this is good for tank if you want an opportunity at the titles well i know i know most of y'all don't care about the fans i know most of y'all don't care about titles no more all y'all care about is money and popularity and knockouts i just want to see the best fight the best i just want to see you know I don't care what style they got. If they obviously whatever style, if Devin Haney, he might he might not have the most uh you know fan friendly style in your eyes, but his style winning fights. So I want to see his style versus Tank style. I want to see all these dudes mix it up. It just so happened that Devin Haney, he the man right now. He at lightweight, he the only champion. Nobody else can claim that they're a champion. So if you want to be a champion, you got to go see Devin Haney in 2023. And like Bill Haney said, maybe, just maybe next year, we'll get y'all an opportunity and we'll relinquish the titles and move up to 140. But they have made it clear that Devin Haney is staying at 135 this year. And if you want to be a champion, you got to go see him. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. How do y'all feel about this? Do you think it's a wise decision for Devin Haney to remain at 135 for another year? Do you think his body can take it? Um, what fights do you expect to see him in this year? Who do you expect to step up and actually challenge the champion? You feel me for his titles? And just think about the pressure. Like a lot of guys, bro, most fighters, they don't. When they become undisputed, they don't hold them titles, bro. They don't defend them shits, bro. Dudes get the belts and then just drop them and dip off. Imagine, like, the pressure when everybody, everybody want them trinkets. Like, most people want them trinkets, bro, to be able to maximize, um, to be able to maximize leverage, be able to maximize their star power, be able to ma maximize their earning potential. And then you got guys that want legacy. People want those titles. So imagine that from all the sanctioning bodies, all of the rankings, you the one. They got to come see you, bro. So to willingly take on that pressure, bro, it says a lot about a fighter. He got that dog in him. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Contender regime boxing. I'll holler at y'all, boys, man.